But first, because they may be gone, but their deeds outlive them, the headlines lingering from the previous administration's 50 running scandal still mushed. Number three, privatization profiteering gate. Remember how President Bush was going to save us so much money by privatizing everything the government does? Paying private business to do it instead because the forces of competition would push them to somehow do it cheaper than our nonprofit government could? Well, in a hearing today, the comptroller for the Defense Department testified both that the growth in defense spending outpaced inflation and that President Obama will be able to cut Pentagon spending because outsourcing Pentagon jobs to contractors ended up being more expensive than doing it themselves, which they will now start doing. But then, why would Mr. Bush have given all those contracts to his defense industry donors? Number two, helping Iran gate. Remember how President Bush was going to deal Iran a crippling blow by um, removing the single greatest threat on its border, Saddam Hussein? Well, Mr. Bush didn't stop there in his quest to strengthen Iran. The Wall Street Journal reports that Iraq's economy is struggling because Iran is capturing billions of dollars of Iraqi business. How? One, Iran supports business with subsidies and protective tariffs. Two, all those devastating sanctions forced Iran to learn how to build its own stuff cheaply. And three, in the name of capitalism, the United States threw open Iraq's doors to global big business within the first weeks of invading, leaving beleaguered domestic industry unable to compete. Number one, innocent until proven guilty gate. Mr. Bush tossed at least 770 people into custody at Guantanamo Bay, many of them for years. Enemy combatants, we were told. Hardcore terrorists. The worst of the worst. In a damning revelation posted on the WashingtonNote.com, Larry Wilkerson, former chief of staff to Secretary of State Colin Powell, claims that, quote, many of the detainees were innocent of any substantial wrongdoing, unquote, and that top U.S. officials knew it, didn't care, because interrogating them could still yield useful information about where they lived, because holding them forever perpetuated the political benefits of endless war. How many were actual terrorists? Wilkerson says the undisputed ringleaders and their companions comprise, quote, clearly no more than a dozen or two of the detainees. Twenty-four men. American principles sacrificed. America's image stained to hold 24 men. Meaning the United States kidnapped, detained, and denied due process to at least 756 innocent people. Larry Wilkerson will appear on the Rachel Maddow Show following this program. We await the appearance of Bush, Cheney, Rumsfeld before an appropriate court of law.